Seriously, my new favorite drink. Oh my goodness. Like, oh my god, this is so good. I'm gonna be sipping this while I film this video. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how I edit my Instagram photos. This was a requested video, so if you have any requests, make sure to leave it in the comment below. And let's get into the video. The app I use for my Instagram photos is called the SEO Cam. So a really nice thing about this app is that you can kind of see how it will look like on your Instagram feed. So I really like that factor. This is my Instagram, so make sure you give it a follow if you want to. I just post pictures like this. Let's look at that closer. So yeah. I'm gonna show you how I edit them. I already have a photo that I'm going to edit today. It is a nail photo again. So you're gonna press that photo. I'm going to press that paintbrush button. So you get like a whole bunch of different filters, which I love. I basically use a filters F2 in the HP series. So the features that I usually use are exposure, temperature, contrast, and the rest I don't really use. Let's get on with this photo. Let's see if I want to kind of mess with the brightness. Sometimes I go a tone down. Sometimes I just leave it like that. Today I'm just gonna leave it like that. And the temperature, if you go down, it makes your photo a little bit on the cool side. And if you go up a notch, it looks kind of more warm. And Today, I think I'm gonna go with a cool tone, so I'm going to go down just one. So now I'm gonna go to contrast and actually just go with one and then press that. Now I'm going to go back to my filters. I'm going to use F2 today. Let's see if the HB1 looks better. Yeah, I definitely think that F2 looks better on this photo. You can kind of like adjust that, so I usually go with eight. Um, sometimes I go all the way to 12, but I usually go with 8 because, or sometimes even 5. I think I'm gonna go with 6 today. So this is how it's gonna look like on my feed. And I really like how that looks. Press the photo and press that arrow. And then you can basically just upload it right away to Instagram, but I usually go to save to camera roll and then upload it on Instagram because if you press that right oh, right away to Instagram, it kind of lowers the quality. I go with actual size because again, that's like the best quality you can get. So that's how it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and comment below what your favorite filter or editing app is and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Do you want me? Do you think I'm the <laughs> Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She